What's going on, y'all? Today we are answering one of the most difficult and oldest questions in recorded history. Why is my wife mad? All right. This is something that mathematicians, physicists, philosophers, and theologians have been thinking about for a long time, and no one has ever been able to come up with a good answer until now. After years and years of research, I finally figured it out, so I'm going to show you all the method today so everyone can figure out why their wife is always mad at them. So this is going to be called the female jealousy theorem. The theory of it is actually fairly simple, which is as the happiness a man increases, his wife's happiness decreases. Now we have the basic definition of it, so we can pretty easily graph this. And this is where our knowledge of mathematics goes in, so as long as you have a about 8th grade level, which is when I finish school, then you should be able to understand this. But basically, we're going to have a nice graph here. Alright, here's our zero point, and this is going to be the male happiness. And this is going to be the female happiness. Basically, the trend line you're going to see is as a man's happiness decreases, a female's happiness increases. So this right here might be something like the Super Bowl. Well, here, this could be like spending your husband's money. Right? So what you basically have to find is an acceptable level of happiness for you that then allows your wife to be happy enough where she doesn't annoy you. And this is like, this is your magic point, all right? This right here is called the happiness equilibrium point. And so basically you can never be too happy because it's going to make your wife unhappy. So, but you can't be, you can't be so unhappy that you get depressed. So what you have to do is just gauge your level of happiness. So that way your wife can still be happy enough where she doesn't bother you. Now you might say, I don't want to be sad all the time. I want to be in a good mood. So this is where we can pull a little trick and we can do some mathematical operations here. This is where we're going to apply the fake problem offset. All right. Basically, what this is is the introduction of a fake problem will allow for the male happiness to increase to increase without decreasing his wife's happiness. Make sure y'all take note of this and remember this definition right here because it's going to be a key to maintaining your happiness without your wife being upset at you. 
let's show that as graph again. So what you're going to have, we're going to have the same graph we had before. And here is our original line, right? And here's male happiness and female happiness. So this right here is our control, right? Basically, after the application of the fake problem offset, you're going to be able to adjust this slope. So basically, your happiness as it increases, your wife's happiness is still going to decline, but it's not going to decline at the rate at which it does normal. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a new happiness line with a less steep slope. And what you've done here is now found a point where y'all are both happier than you were before because she doesn't think you're very happy. So that means she can still be happy. Now you might be saying, my wife is never happy. All right. doesn't matter if I'm sad. doesn't matter if I'm happy. She's always just mad at me. Well, that's because not all women are the same. All right. So this right here is not always consistent. All right. This can vary, all right? So maybe this is like a conservative woman. And this is like a liberal woman, right? The ones with the blue hair. So you can see if you pick the right woman, you can still maintain your level of happiness pretty decently without having to sacrifice too much of hers. All right, last thing. Let's say she's immune to the fake problem offset, okay? She's not buying it. That means we have to employ extreme measures. So you're gonna have to apply a very advanced technique, which is called the wine differential. So, DW, DT, the change in wine over time, right? Basically, what you're going to see is as consumption of wine increases over time, A woman's happiness increases independent of a man's happiness. So this is probably the most powerful thing that you're going to have in your tool belt when trying to solve these problems. So what we can do is actually have a mathematical rep representation of this. So what we're going to see here is the limit as wine goes to infinity of a woman's happiness. This is going to go to infinity. So regardless of what a man's doing, if the wine consumption continues to increase, the happiness is going to continue to increase. And you can see something like this. So, wine and the woman's happiness over here. And what you're going to see is this is an exponential function. All right, this is going to have an asymptote right around wherever her breaking point is. This is the blackout point. So basically what you're going to see is her happiness is going to increase up to this blackout point. And this is going to be independent of man's happiness. So y'all, I hope that I was able to solve this problem for you. We went over a couple different methods today. Maybe I'll find some more in the future, but until then, I'll leave you with this, and I hope y'all just become experts in it, so that way you can finally solve this problem, and y'all can both be happy. You're welcome. See you later, men.